Breastfeeding for working mothers. Many mothers need to work away from home and want to continue to breastfeed their babies. Sometimes, the mother can have periodic contact with her baby while at work. In other workplaces, she'll have longer times away from her baby. Then, she'll need to leave a supply of her milk at home to be fed to her baby by a helper. This video will show how a mother can continue to feed her baby her milk once she goes back to work, including how to express her milk, keep it safe, and teach a family member or helper to cup feed her baby. Identify mothers early who will be going back to work and want to continue to breastfeed their babies. Besides giving her baby the best nutrition, a mother will continue to feel connected to her baby. She will have a greater chance of continuing breastfeeding if she understands what's needed and prepares well ahead of the time of separation from her baby. The support of people around her will also help her succeed, both at home and at work. Here are a few ways women continue to breastfeed their babies while working. Many women keep their babies with them and breastfeed them throughout the day. If her workplace is nearby, a mother may be able to go home during the day to breastfeed. Or she may arrange to have a helper bring her baby to her. If her workplace is far away, there may be a daycare center nearby where she can come to breastfeed during her workday. When breastfeeding during a mother's working hours is not possible, discuss how she can continue to give her baby her milk by expressing and storing it and having someone feed her baby while she's at work. Start by teaching the mother to express her milk. Have her first wash her hands with soap and clean a container. Then teach her how to bring her milk. Relaxing, stroking her breasts and thinking about her baby. Even smelling his clothes will help her milk come. Then guide her how to place her hand and fingers. A few finger widths back from the nipple, have her place her thumb on one side of the breast and her fingers in exactly the same location on the opposite side. Guide her to press back toward her chest wall, press her thumb and fingers together and then release. Press back, press together and release. Press back, press together and release. Once the milk slows, she moves her fingers to clear other parts of her breast. Then changes to the other breast, alternating sides until the flow of milk is very slow. The mother should leave herself enough time, at least a half hour, to express her milk before she goes to work. She should try to store enough milk to meet her baby's needs while she's gone. Half to one cupful of milk for every three hours she's away covers most baby's needs. After expressing her milk, she should breastfeed her baby. He will be able to get more milk from the breast and this will help build her supply. 
have the mother label the container of freshly expressed milk with day and time and add it to a supply she has safely stored. Encourage the mother to talk with her supervisor about arrangements in her workplace. She'll need a short break from her work, a private place to express her milk, as well as a way to store the milk safely. The mother should express about two or three times during the work day, even if some needs to be discarded. This will prevent breast problems and leaking and keep up her milk supply. Next, the mother needs to keep her milk safe for her baby. Help her think through how she'll safely store her milk at home and at work. To keep milk safe, it needs to be stored in the coolest possible place. Breast milk will stay fresh and safe for six hours in a room as long as the room is not very hot. Keeping the containers in very cold water can keep the milk cool for longer. As long as the water is changed every few hours. In a fridge, breast milk will stay fresh for up to three days if kept consistently cold. An ice pack may also be used to keep the milk cool at home. If she can keep her milk cool during her workday, keep it cool while going from work to home, and cool in her house using a fridge or an ice pack, her helper can safely feed the milk to her baby the next day. If those are not available, have the mother keep her milk in a cool place and give it as soon as possible and within six to eight hours after the milk was expressed. Have the helper use the oldest milk first. She warms the milk by putting the container in a pot of warm water. Never heat it on the stove or fire. To cup feed, first clean the cup with boiling water. Then have the mother teach her helper how to feed her baby from a cup. First, place him in an upright position with her hand on the back of the baby's neck to steady him. Then set the cup lightly on the baby's lower lip with the milk level with the rim. Wrapping the baby is helpful to keep his hands away. In a few short days, this baby has learned to cup feed. Milk is hardly spilled and he finishes the cup of milk in a few minutes. It's important to cup feed the baby. He will be more likely to suckle when the mother is home. If he's bottle fed, he may lose interest in suckling, the mother's milk supply may decrease, and he could get sick from unclean bottles. Be sure to wash containers well with soap and boiling water. Let them dry completely. Remember, women have found many ways to work away from home and continue to breastfeed giving their babies the best start in life. She can keep her baby with her, come home during the day, have her help her bring her baby to her, and keep her baby at a daycare. She can also express her milk, keep it safe at home, and have a helper cup feed her baby.